Hey guys, La Monster here, La Monster Garage, and we are going to show you a uh, quick little install of a product that, that we basically we love it. It's a uh, it's called a Fobo, and basically what it does, it allows you to monitor your tire pressure through Bluetooth. Um, it's one of those things that you know we basically checking your tires is a pain in the butt. You know how many times you go for a ride. You don't check the air, but if you had an app that gave you an audio, audible sound, if you had low tires, or you could quickly look at it, check your pressure. Uh, in my case, I actually have three bikes that I can check uh, at the same time, see if the pressure's low. Um, so what we have here, I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you what we got. This is what you're going to get in the kit, and this is this is a tri kit. Uh, these are the black ones. That are, they also come in silver. And let's see, we'll lift it up here. And uh, here, here's your little sensors. And these are little Bluetooth sensors. They come with extra batteries. They come with a locking nut and a little wrench to lock them on. We, I actually don't use them. They're just kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, but you can use them for security. Uh, because it's the Monster Garage, we're going to add a little more to the, to the uh, mix here. Uh, you can get them with uh, either the the monster uh, logo for that will fit right on the Phobos or the spider logo. A lot of people have the spider logo and they want the theme all the way through. Same same with the uh, the monster logo. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and install it now. If you go to lemonstergarage.com and I believe it's a universal uh, product, but anyway, uh, look under uh, tire uh, Phobo tire pressure monitor. Uh, when you pick whichever set you want, you can then download, there's a direct link to download the app to either your iPhone or your Android phone, Google phone. Uh, once you have the app in, installed on your phone, you're going to be asked to set up an account and it's all set up through an email. Real, real simple deal, real quick. Uh, once you have that set up, you're ready to install these. Now what I've done on mine, uh, these have already been installed, so I had to actually release them, and there's a little menu you'll see for releasing. So let's say let's say someone steals one, they think they're gonna or steals a couple of them, they think they're gonna use it on their bike because they downloaded it out. No good to them, unless you release it from your phone. Those things are dead; they won't work. So uh, it's another security. Uh, uh, aspect to the to the Phobos. So anyway, I released a couple. I'm going to show you how to set up a bike real quick and then I'm also going to show you how to do the install, the alerts and all that. So I'll come over here, put my phone on. This is the Phobo app. So I'm going to go ahead and click this on. Now these are two bikes that I already have on there. I've got the uh, Triple Threat which is my F3 and then my RT on there. But I'm going to show you what it would be like if you wanted to set up a new one. You just hit plus, and you're going to scroll over to find whichever one you want. So they have a reverse trike, which looks a whole lot like a spider. You do a confirm. Okay, fill in the information. So you can name your bike here on inner bike name. You can uh, take a picture of your bike, which I've done. Uh, pressure is in PSI. Temperature, that's the temperature of your tires in Fahrenheit. Uh, this will give you like your, this is your front tire, front right, front left, and rear, set in min max. So if you click it on here, you go, let's say if I put this at my front tire, I'm going to want at 18. And then it will already give you, okay, this is the minimum that you want in that tire, and this is the maximum. And if you reach either the minimum or the maximum, uh, you'll you'll get an alert on your phone. So we're, we'll go ahead and cancel that. We'll go back. I'm going to go to my RT. As you can see, the the rear's still uh, active, but these are not. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, set these up. And i got to remember exactly how to do this. Let's see. I think I hold that. No, let's see. So, okay, edit bike profile. Um, so here's all your different options. Right here is release bike sens sensors. That's what I just got done doing. 
So I'm going to go ahead and edit my bike profile. I've got all that. We'll call it done. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Let's see here. How do I do that again? Uh-oh. Uh, disable. Okay, disable install sensor. My bad. So click on that. Okay. To disable or enable a new sensor, press on the box corresponding position for five seconds. So I hit OK. So this is my front left. So I'm going to go ahead and press on that for five seconds. I say it says, please install sensor on front left. Tire and touch sensor with your phone and press OK. If you've already installed a sensor, take it off and wait at eight seconds. So we're going to go ahead and install this. And uh, here's your sensor right here, the Fobo sensor, a uh, little Bluetooth. We're going to go ahead and install it on the valve stem. And believe it or not, you actually have to touch your phone. I didn't believe it was true, but you do. So I hit OK. Now it's installing it. OK, so that one's installed. I hit OK. And then i got to go back over here again. And I gotta do install sensor. So I'm gonna come back over here. Okay, and it says five seconds. So I hit OK. Let's see. Five seconds. Please install sensor on front right tire. So we'll go ahead and install it. Touch it, hit OK. Installing. Tire installation is complete, hit OK. And it's going to pick it right now, it's saying 0.6, but it hasn't picked it up yet. Come on. It takes a little time to pick that one up. Now this one is saying that the pressure is too high, and that's because it's actually, okay, so now this one's picked up. It says it's 19.4. This one shows it's a little low, 16.6. This one's showing it's too high at 28. That's because uh, my pressure's wrong. It's set at 19.5. So I'm going to go ahead, go over here. I'm going to edit my bike profile. I'm going to go over, here's my rear center. And I want to bring that up to 28. So there's 28. I hit done. It said you must press OK and you must sync the new sensor. So I hit OK. Done. Okay, so now I got to go to the rear and pull that sensor off to sync this. Get down on my, on my belly here. And pull this sensor off. So it says take it off for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go ahead and put it back on. Whoop. Hard to do with that in my hands. There we go. Put that back on, and then I'll put my phone on on it. Hit OK. OK, sync is complete. So now, if you look right here, it says that my rear tire is 28.2. That's acceptable. 19.4. That's within reason. 16.8. That's bad. That's that's showing it's low. Pressure below preset. And I think if I get out of this app, I think it's going to give me an alert if I remember right. It should make a little noise. And actually, I've got an Apple Watch. It will even show up on my Apple Watch and tell me my tire pressure is low. So let's, let's go here. We'll go to triple threat. Triple threat's all good. We'll go home. Go back here. 
So there's the sound you hear. It'll let you know you got low pressure there. So that's it. Uh, it's FOBO, uh, the, the Bluetooth uh, uh, tire pressure monitor. It's called a FOBO. Go to themonstergarage.com. And uh, if you have any questions setting it up or that, uh, just give us a call here and we'll be glad to walk you through it. Thanks.